using sterile technique. Remove the instrument from the package. To avoid damage, do not flip the instrument into the sterile field. Improved packaging design and grip services facilitate the process. Open the device by rotating the adjusting knob counterclockwise and carefully remove the accessory tray. If the green ancillary trocar tip is to be used during the procedure, ensure that it remains in the sterile field. Remove the anvil and retract the trocar fully by rotating the adjusting knob clockwise. The anvil is inserted into the lumen and secured using a purse string suture technique. Ensure the purse string suture is tied above the tying notch. Alternative methods for anvil placement may be used based on surgeon preference. Insert the device up to the closed lumen with the trocar fully retracted. Fully extend the trocar and pierce the tissue. Ensure that the orange tying area is visible. Attach the anvil to the extended trocar. An audible click should be heard when the anvil snaps into its fully seated position. Close the device by rotating the adjusting knob clockwise. As the surgeon closes the instrument, it is important to ensure the tissue remains in the proper orientation and no extraneous tissue is included. As the tissue is being compressed, the surgeon will start to feel resistance. Continue to adjust the device until the tissue is adequately compressed for a proper anastomosis. To fire the device, the red safety is removed and the firing trigger is squeezed with a firm, steady pressure. The device will provide audible and tactile feedback through the breakaway washer, indicating the firing sequence has been completed. The orange indicator must be entirely within the green area of the tissue compression scale. Return the red safety to the locked position. Release the device from the anastomosis by turning the adjusting knob counterclockwise one half to three quarters of a turn. Opening the device further may create a vacuum-like effect and make removal difficult. Rotate the device gently back and forth and apply rearward traction to remove from the anastomosis. To inspect the integrity of the donuts, a surgical instrument can be used to carefully remove them from the staple casing. For complete details and instructions for use, please read the IFU.